Hello there, my name is Caitlin Mahar and welcome to my channel. I'm a narcissistic abuse survivor, so my channel is all about talking about narcissistic abusive relationships, what it is like to be in a relationship with a narcissist. So today I'm doing a reaction video to the song Voices from Madonna. It was recommended to me a few times and I have listened to it and I definitely see how it could pertain or does pertain to a narcissist. So let's let's play the song. Who is the master? Who is the slave? I mean, already that's like typical narcissist. Like you never know where you stand with them. Like with the covert narcissist, one minute he was talking to me, he would tell me I'm boring, I'm lazy, I need to work out more, I need to do my makeup a certain way, I need to do my hair a certain way, the way I dress, like I was critiqued on everything. And then the next minute or he would eventually say, oh, you're so beautiful, oh, you have a good heart, oh, like, whatever. Like, you just never know, know where you stand. What else did she say? Yeah, and you do feel like you are kind of with a stranger. Um... You know, you go through the love bombing phase where everything seems to be amazing and um, you guys seem to get each other and understand each other and then suddenly you're out of this love bombing phase and the true person, this narcissist is inside, starts to come out and they start devaluing you and emotionally abusing you and you just feel like you're you're with a stranger do do I even know this person and and I think yeah it was hard for me like I felt like I didn't know no um my narcissist um I remember even specifically telling the covert narcissist after a couple years of being with him it was towards the end of our relationship I was like you you don't know me like you don't know the real the real me and yeah he would tell me he did know me that you know, whatever, that he knows the real me. And I was like, you have not a clue. Like, he didn't get me. He didn't understand me. So it felt like I was with a stranger. Like, you don't even really know the real me and you don't even care to know the real me. Let's play more. Ooh. And then with waiting for an answer, that makes me think about my malignant narcissist who was awful with texting and communicating. Um, yeah, he would ignore my phone calls, give me the silent treatment at times. And when you are being ignored, like, it, it, I mean, I was going crazy when I was being ignored by him. Like, it just, it, it, it there was a permanent knot in my stomach. And... It's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, like, I would just be like, just all you got to do is respond, you know? If you respond in a timely manner, then this anxiety not in my stomach will go away and I'll be actually, and I'll be able to sleep tonight. But, you know, he didn't care. Like, the, he, he wanted to cause me anxiety. He didn't want me to sleep well. Like, he loved manipulating me. And I don't think you get used to the hell. Um, you live with the hell. I don't think you truly get used to it because even when you're going through the, the hell, it's like, I remember just constantly trying to almost claw my way out of this hole that I, that I associated as hell. Like you're trying to get out of this hole and get a piece, get some air, see some, the light of day and you might see it for a second that narcissist might feed you some breadcrumbs and make you feel good and then they end up kicking you back in the hole so uh yeah hmm. 
I'm gonna pull up the lyrics. Let's see, what did she say? Voices, Madonna. Um, I just wanna make sure I get everything. Um, yeah, voices start to ring in your head. Tell me, what do they say? Distant echoes from another time start to creep in your brain. So you're playing around like it's on rewind. You blew it so often that you start to believe it. Ooh, yeah, did she play it off? Yeah, I mean, she's saying, yeah, he has voices ringing in his head, like, yeah, I mean, I do wonder, I wonder what goes on in a narcissist's head, like, it, I guess it's just, I mean, it's a personality disorder, it's just kind of the way they are, and, you know, some of them are aware of what they do, and some of them aren't aware of what they do, but they constantly do it again, and again, and again, the same formula. It, it is interesting, like, even, you know, the, even if you're aware, an unaware narcissist and an unaware narcissist, you, you still do the same things. It's just the aware ones know why they do it, but they all, like, do have the same formula, the same game, um, and it just happens again and again and again, and even, like, yeah, it is on rewind, because even, I mean, one of my narcissists, um, he had told me all his relationships were two-year relationships and they always like followed the same cycle and he was an unaware narcissist and he'd be like well I wonder like what is this pattern that keeps happening in my life what um but he was even he wasn't aware of it he didn't know why all his relationships follow the same formula over and over and over again and there's never any progress or growth. It just, the same thing happens every time. But yeah, what does she say? She says, you have demons, so nobody can blame you. Yeah, so yeah, she's pretty much saying like, you know, maybe that narcissists, lots of narcissists like to play the victim. And because they, nothing can ever be their fault. And if something, and if you accuse them of doing something, then they somehow switch it around and they're the victim and you're the bad person. And she's, and I'm almost viewing this thing as like demons inside of him. Like he's saying, oh yeah, maybe, oh, I had this happen to me when I was a kid. Oh, this and this happened to me, like playing the victim. So then in the end, he cannot take fault for it, but that's not the way it works. You're a grown, you're a grown person. Like, there's a difference between right and wrong, and you can't have that excuse throughout your whole life that you had a crappy childhood or something traumatic happened to you. That's just not the way life works. You have to change and grow. But yeah, she says, but who is the master and who is the slave? Yeah, like narcissists are constantly trying to be in control, but yeah, are they? Like, who, what, like, yeah, their um, their ego is the one in control. Like, this personality disorder is the one in control, and that's the thing that runs their whole life. Let's play more. Yeah, like, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, first they love you, then they hate you. Again, that's, you never know where you stand with them. That's why you become so hyper vigilant. You're just, you're constantly on guard with a person like this. It's not like when you're with a neurotypical person and you feel at ease and you can just relax and it's just not like that. With a narcissist, you're even worried that they're gonna leave you at any moment and somehow them leaving you says something about you. I mean, they make you feel that way, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, both of my narcissists, there was always this lingering feeling that they would leave me for another woman. And because of that, you're, you're on edge. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I mean, this, per yeah, I, I don't know. This personality disorder does a lot. Um, yeah, then you say you're sorry, you play the game so well. Yeah, exactly, like my narcissist, yeah, they would apologize to me, but I mean, now that I know about narcissistic personality disorder, they apologize to you because, not because they necessarily mean it, a lot of times that's just a manipulation tactic, like, they don't genuinely mean it, but who knows? I don't know, maybe sometimes they do mean it, I, from what I hear, not really. Um, yeah, I bought your illusion. You're the greatest salesman. How could I refuse you when you sold yourself, when you sold it to yourself? Yeah, narcissists, like, they buy into their illusion, the illusion that they're this perfect person. And yeah, like both of my narcissists, they had big dreams in their career. But yeah, like, I mean, with the covert narcissist, yeah, he would just somehow think that he would be like a television star or a model and that someone would just look at him and hire him and give him money right on the spot. He didn't understand that you have to work hard to accomplish things. I mean, you know, he, you know, they're good looking people everywhere, you know, and, and you know, so, you can't just think someone's gonna look at you and be like, you, you, you're amazing, let's hire you. I mean, I wish that's how the world worked. I wish someone would look at me and say, Caitlin, I, I want you to star in this movie. Like, I would love that, but that's just not logical. But narcissists, like, they, they believe this. They believe that someday someone is going to just see them and just, they're gonna become successful just like that. Yeah, they buy into this grandiose sense of self, but it's like, it's, it's all talk and no action a lot of times. Even though narcissists, a lot of them, they are talented people. It's just a lot of times they're not as talented as they think. But I definitely bought into the Illusion. I bought into the illusion. I believe both of these guys could be successful. You know, I believe that they could accomplish their goals, but, you know, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was more, I mean, while they may have been talented in some ways, they definitely, again, it was not completely backed up with action. Yeah, let's play more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, she's like, now the time's up, like, yeah, will you show me your hand? Like, she's like, it's over, like, I'm done, but can I at least see, like, your hand? Can I actually, like, get an answer for the for for once can I actually see who you truly are for once and a lot of times yeah they won't even show that to you let's play more
Yeah, I like how, I do like, yeah, who's the master and who is the slave? Like, this one guy I listen to who's a narcissist um, on YouTube, yeah, he says that, you know, narcissists, like, they worship a god, and the god is their, is their, like, is, is like the mask, is this illusion of themselves, that's who they worship, um, and yeah, it, that's, that, that's the king, that's how they live their life, their life is to worship themselves, but, yeah, who, who is really in control, like, narcissists, that's their thing, they try to control everything, but deep inside, like, while they give the appearance of being in control, like, they're actually just, like, worshipping this illusion, this illusion, this false self that they gave themselves. So are they really in control? I do like the direction of this song and yeah I mean yeah I do like the direction of where this song takes it's not like I don't know she's just saying like she's yeah she doesn't she's not buying the illusion like what is going on what goes on in your head like you know, whatever it is, it's, you know, who's really, who's really in control? Like, are you really the master? Are you actually the slave to yourself? Because, I mean, yeah, they they are, they are sort of slaves to their false self in a sense, because they don't really change or grow. You know, that does seem like a slave, like you're just confined to yourself. Um, and you're never experiencing true love, true caring for another person. You're just constantly out there doing the same thing with the same results and never truly evolving and becoming a better person. So I, I definitely like, yeah, I like the direction of this song. And Madonna has a lot of songs similar to this that are, you know, empowering and that that seem to talk about uh, a narcissist or narcissistic relationship so it's really wonderful um if you like this reaction please like comment and subscribe to watch more videos and i will see you all very soon thank you for watching bye, -bye.